today I have this newly renovated three bedroom, two bath, 1600 square foot pool home in Kissimmee, Florida, priced at $334,900. Are you interested? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Our passion is helping people evolve in real estate so we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurant shops, and so much more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are in Kissimmee, Florida. As you know, I am constantly trying to find you houses that stick out and this one has stuck out to me. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1600 square foot, newly renovated pool home. The roof is only four years old. The exterior interior paint is brand new as well as the water heater and HVAC system. This house is completely, the backyard is completely fenced in. It also has rain gutters. The list price is $300 $34,900. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where we're gonna go to Monarch School of Real Estate and I'm gonna give you details such as um, closing costs, down payment, estimated mortgages, and so much more. Now let's begin your real estate evolution tour. All right, so as we walk into the house, we are greeted with an open floor plan. We have vaulted ceilings. We have new luxury vinyl planking, and then we do have new carpet in the bedrooms. So when we're walking in, to our right, we have the formal dining space. So as you can see, there's a light fixture here. We have a window and you have more than enough space to put whatever size table it fits your family needs. So whether it be a, cir a, a circular, a rectangular, a square, whatever, like I said, whatever fits your family needs, all right? Don't wanna to go too much into that, but let's come in here. I absolutely love this space. And the reason why I love this space is because let's say you're like, man, I need a three bedroom, but I need an office as well. Well, if you can walk in, if you can work in an open space, then this space is perfect because towards the front of the house where the front door is, we have this space here where you can have it as um, maybe like your little office area. You can definitely set up your desk. Maybe you can even do kind of like a privacy bifold or something like that. If it works for you, then I think that that space is perfect. Now, if we walk this way, I would say this would be considered the family room. So you guys already know how I feel, a hundred inch minimum TV on this wall, but you definitely have more than enough space to put some seating, whether it be a sectional, love seat, whatever. Um, again, whatever fits your family needs. We already have the light fixture with the ceiling fan. A lot of natural light is coming in through this house because we have the, um, the double windows here with the sliding glass doors. And then we also have the two front windows those and then as you as you may have noticed the front door has the glass panel so there's a lot of natural light coming in so let's come this way so this could technically be maybe like a 
eat-in kitchen area if you would like to have maybe a smaller table but you don't necessarily need to crowd the space because you have that dining space in front of the house all right so that's up to you this house is considered a split floor plan when the master bedroom is on one side of the house which is right behind me and then the other two bedrooms are on the opposite side but let's come this way and we're gonna check out this kitchen so this kitchen also has been renovated the cabinets have been resurfaced um they have the handles on them so these are 32 inch cabinets as you can see. So you still have a lot of space to put your cups, your plates, and um, whatever your heart desires. But we do have granite, granite, well, I cannot speak to the granite, granite countertops, okay? Here we have a, like peninsular islands. You guys already know it's coming. I love islands, cause why? I'm an island girl, just as much as you guys are island people. I know a lot of people call me and they're like, I'm from the islands too. And I absolutely love that. So I am from the islands. Um, my mother is from Puerto Rico. My father's from Dominican Republic. So I'm half Puerto Rican, half Dominican. And I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. So when I see islands, it just reminds me of family. My kids surrounding the island, we're chopping it up, talking about our days our goals and um, our aspirations so this is a definitely a great size i love the i love how it goes around and so you could definitely have maybe like six seats here bar stools whatever fits your family needs right um we do have the single stainless steel sink which i absolutely love me personally i do not like the double um when it's divided but i actually had a client tell me she was like i actually like the divided sinks because she um she cleans on one side and then she leaves it on the other side i don't know but it's whatever you like it's up to you okay now you guys know that this is one of my favorite features the pull out faucet this faucet is okay because i've been seeing some ugly faucets that i'm like listen if it's so ugly i will go ahead and replace it for you after you close but we have the appliances that come with this house we have the electric the electric microwave oh my gosh the microwave over the electric stove which i do like this stove what appliance so this is the ge this is refrigerator there and then the refrigerator is refrigerated there as well okay so this is how it is we got ge microwave and dishwasher and then we have refrigerator there that for dip refrigerator <laughs> Okay, it's not for frigid there. No, hold on. F okay, there's okay. Frigid there. There we go. Okay, so we have frigid there. It just sounds so weird. Okay, so we have frigid there stove, and then we have the frigid there double um, door refrigerator. Okay, the the cabinets are not soft closed, but that's something that you can do afterwards. You can get the soft closed hinges and just install that. So if you come this way, we have a few things here. So we do have a pantry, and although it's not a walk-in pantry technically, it is pretty deep. Like, I'm sorry, you could definitely walk in here. So I'm gonna say this is a walk-in pantry, guys. This is definitely a walk-in pantry, unless you decided that you wanted to get longer um, shelf racks, then it won't be. But then you're gonna be like this, but whatever. Whatever you guys want. You know how I say, when it's your house, you do whatever you want. So you have a pantry. <laughs> All right, you have a pantry. And then come to my right. Guys, you know that I cannot keep a straight face, so my husband just bumped into the cabinets. And I can't keep a straight face. Like, what you see is what you get. I'm the most authentic, transparent realtor on YouTube, on earth, I feel. All right? so. I could appreciate that we have a two car garage and you come in this way through the kitchen. I actually like that concept. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is the two car garage. What I could appreciate about this garage is that the floors are finished, right? So that's something that you don't even have to worry about if that's something that you wanted to do. So we do have the HVAC system and we do have the water heater in here as well. As I mentioned, they both are brand new. You also have the um, garage door opener. So again, that's one less thing to worry about. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the other side of the house and we're gonna go see the two bedrooms and then the bathroom that they share. 
All right, so what do you think about this house so far? You know, I was showing it to some clients and I'm like, I really, really have to showcase this house because for the price, it's newly renovated. It has a brand new, well, semi brand new, it's four, the, the roof is four years old. Um, new luxury vinyl planking. So this house has a lot to offer, plus it having a private pool, okay? One thing I wanna mention to you before we go any further is that if you would like for me to help you evolve in real estate, whether it be buying, selling, investing. If you're a builder wanting to connect with me, the best way to connect with me is gonna be in my YouTube. You're gonna see a link that says Calendly. Click on it and whether you're a builder, buyer, seller, investor, go ahead, just choose whatever um, fits your needs and that's gonna be the best way to get on my calendar because the reason why I have it like this is that I spend a lot of time negotiating for my clients and when you call me, I definitely wanna make sure that I give you my undivided attention okay so I don't only help um, buyers I help many many sellers put their house on the market sell their house and help them evolve in real estate whether it's their downsizing upsizing or relocating out of Florida so again that's gonna be the best way if you call me you'll get my assistant she's amazing she'll put you on my calendar and then we'll definitely connect so we're back in the family room now we're gonna come this way we have an arch, which I, I love how arches do look. So this is an arch into the hallway, right? And then as you come straight, we have the bathroom that these two bedrooms in the hallway are gonna share. So we have the shower tub combination, the tiling going all the way up to the ceiling, which I absolutely love. You have the single sink, and then of course you have your toilet. Now, we also have a linen closet here. So you have five shelves. Very, very good space to put all of your towels, bed sheets, and whatever else you need to do. So now we're gonna go check out bedroom number one, which faces the front of the house. All right, so walking into bedroom number one, it faces the front of the house. It has one window. All of the windows have window treatment. What are window treatments? Because I didn't know before either. Window treatments is just a fancy word for blinds, window blinds, all right? So they have window blinds. As I mentioned, all of the rooms have brand new carpet. And then this light, it is pre-wired for a ceiling fan. It does not come with the ceiling fan, but that just allows you to pick and choose whichever one you want. You have outlets galore in here. You have one, two, three, four, five set of outlets in here. So it looks like this wall would probably be the wall that you would put the TV on. But again, whatever you're gonna use this room for. Now we do have double folded closet doors, right? And so we have a nice, decent sized closet. As I always mention, you could go ahead and um, add another one of these just to maximize the space. Let's say, I think this is a perfect starter home, either a starter home or a, um, like you had the kids are out the house already. I just wanna enjoy life. Maybe when the grandkids come, but then they go right back to their parents, right? So even if you have like kids that are staying here and you maybe need to bunk them, this is more than enough space to have bunk beds. And that's what I do because I have six kids. Yes, I have six kids. A lot of people are like, what, you have six kids? Yes, my husband and I have three biological sons and then we were foster parents and we adopted a sibling group of three. So we have four boys and two girls. So some of the kids have to bunk in the, the rooms together and we have five bedrooms, but we're, we're already outgrowing that house anyways. Um, it's, next, it's, it's time for me to evolve in real estate. Um, and evolve into a bigger house. But we have the kids, some of the kids in like two of the kids in the room, we have them bunk beds. And what I did was I just added another one of this in the closet. So then one child has one um, shelf and then the other child has the other child. So, shelf. I speak so fast that it's just like, sometimes my words just get all tangulated. <laughs> all tangulated, all tangled, I love it. Anyways, all right. So let's go to the other side of the hallway where we're gonna have bedroom number two that faces the back of the house and let's go. Did you guys notice that I made up a word tangulated? Like really? That's not even a word. I don't even know where that came from. So anyways, so you have the, um, the linen closet right off of the bathroom, but you also have another closet here. But there's only one shelf here, but if you wanted to add maybe additional shelves, and if you're like a family who loves board games and game night, we're sure, we sure are. This would be perfect to like house all of your games and things like that. One thing I wanna get the kids into that I already bought it, but but I haven't started it is 
huge puzzles. I really, I think that's going to be um, a great family game. I guess it's not a game really, but uh, something fun for us to do as a family. So before we get to bedroom number two, we're going to have these closing, these bifold doors, right? And these bifold doors is actually, this is a, a laundry closet. So we have a shelf here, which is um, more than enough space to put your your detergent needs if you wanted to after you close you could take that out and put cabinets right but your washer and dryer would go here the house does not come with the washer and dryer but that just allows you to pick and choose whichever one you want now bedroom number two which faces the back of the house has to be my favorite bedroom because it has the view to the backyard with this amazing pool i absolutely love it this backyard is everything i i love that it's fenced in it has the bird cage if you didn't know what a bird cage was is the black cage over the um over the pool it's paved all throughout um, the outside of the pool area so i really could appreciate that again this seems to be the same size as bedroom number one we have the one bedroom the one window the lighting it is pre-wired for a ceiling fan okay now we have the same bifold doors and again this is the closet and if you need to maximize the space you know what to do so we have checked out all of the bedrooms except the master bedroom but before we get to the master bedroom we have to take another look at that backyard all right so leading into your backyard oasis because this is definitely a backyard oasis you have sliding doors which open up on both sides guys this is absolutely florida living this pool is absolutely beautiful and i love the size one thing that i cannot stand and is anybody with me is when i see a pool and it's like this big it just doesn't make any sense to me but of course you know there's i know that there's people who just like i think it's called a um a splash pool or something just to get in the water and just feel good or anything like that but i think if you're gonna do a pool do a pool so this is definitely a nice size as i mentioned the bird cage is already um, installed i don't see any broken screens which is very very good um, as i said as well it's fenced in you have this shed here as well you have that beautiful tree and i believe one is growing on that side as well so you'll have two trees up there but man it's super quiet this is absolutely beautiful you have more than enough space for some lounge chairs if you want to have a domino set out here it is oh the wind is blowing the sun is shining we are living in florida if you need this to be your absolute last winter wherever you are then the time is now because we want to get you into a house so you don't have to go through another cold snowy winter so this is your backyard oasis again you have you still have room in the back to do whatever you need to do the dogs run the kids playing put a little playground so again let me know what you guys what else you guys would add back here right so let's go back into the house and then we're gonna go see the master bedroom now what did you think about that pool did you love it let me know so we're walking into the master bedroom and the master bedroom is off of the kitchen okay you have one window in here and it faces the back of the house so that you have that pool view as well so in this bedroom we have the uh ceiling fan which is great again um you can change it out if you would like to but it's definitely blowing cool air this is a nice size master bedroom. We also have the master bathroom over here. So the master bathroom has a shower tub combination, just like the second bathroom. The tiling goes all the way up to the top. You have, of course, your toilet, and then you have the single sink. As I mentioned, I think this would be a perfect, perfect, perfect first um, first home, or even uh, if you, you're looking to downsize and it's just you and your significant other. So if we walk this way, we also have a master closet. So the master closet is definitely a nice walk-in closet. You have a few different shelves as i always say you can customize this if that's what you want to do my in-laws went to ikea they got a whole bunch of customizable inserts and they said it was super simple to install so again let your creativity take over if you're not creative then go to go on tiktok youtube or hire somebody to do it because that's me i don't i'm not creative and i can't do it 
I'll hire somebody. All right, so we saw all of the house. Let's go back to the kitchen. Let's chop it up and let me tell you more about the house. All right, we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my absolute favorite place to be. What did you think about this house? Do you love it? Let me know in the comments. Now let's go over the details again. So this is a newly renovated three bedroom, two bath, 1,600 square foot, two car garage, pool, home now inside the of the house we have a open floor concept in the beginning of the house you have the separate dining space now we have that long family room where if you needed to you could cut it in half the front of the house could be used as maybe an office space we have the kitchen where hatch the granite countertops we have the refaced um, cabinets with the handles we have the microwave over the electric stove the dishwasher the refrigerator we have that walk-in pantry now let's talk about that two-car garage the floor is already done it has the new HVAC and water heater in there and the garage door opener comes with it as well we have the two bedrooms on one side of the house one facing the front of the house the other bedroom facing the back of the house now we have the full bathroom that these two bedrooms share, which the tiling goes all the way up to the top, which I absolutely love. Now you have tons of um, linen space between the two linen closets, and then you also have that laundry closet as well that you would put your washer and dryer in. On the opposite side of the house, we had the master bedroom with the walk-in closet, and then we also had the master bathroom with that shower tub combination and the tiling going all the way up to the top. Now let's talk about that backyard. We have the pavers surrounding the pool, in-ground pool, we have the bird cage, we have the um, the really nice tree and another one is being uh, grown as well. We have the shed, it's fenced in, absolutely beautiful. Still enough space in the back to add a playground or let your dogs run around. So this location is Kissimmee, Florida. So we are about 40, 45 minutes away from Walt Disney World. We're about 45 minutes to an hour away from downtown Orlando. And then we are about an hour, an hour and a half away from Tampa. So we're, we're not too far away from many things. Now in this area, we have an abundance of stores such as Publix, Walmart, a whole bunch of eatery like Taco Bell, Wendy's, um, Burger King. We also have what's coming up, Crunch Fitness. So if you're looking for a gym, there's a gym here as well. We, there is also a, like a community center here in Kissimmee where you can have a membership and they have an indoor pool and basketball courts and so much to do. Now you have an abundance of different public schools and charter schools as well. As I mentioned, this house is listed at $334,000, well, $334,900 can't forget that $900. So let me know what you thought about this house if you love it. Next, I wanna take you to Monarch School of Real Estate where I'm gonna go over all of the numbers which I absolutely love doing for you. Again, if you wanna work with me, the Evolve Estates Group, reach out to us, the Catlinly link, book some time on my calendar. If you need a call, that's okay, call. You'll get my assistant, she'll put you on my calendar. We don't only service Kissimmee, we service all of Central Florida from Ocala all the way down to Tampa, okay? So without further ado, let's go to Monarch School of Real Estate. Welcome to Monarch School of Real Estate. If you've been following me, you know that I absolutely love to do this because I love to educate you guys to become savvy consumers, whether you use me as your real estate advisor or not. So a huge disclaimer is that I'm not a licensed mortgage lender nor tax appraiser. This is solely just based on estimate numbers, okay? So the list price, oh, before I go, hold on, before I even start this, nobody told me that I had a white piece of paper stuck in my hair throughout the whole video and I just found that out now so I was looking crazy but now we ending the we ending the tour correctly all right so the list price is three hundred and thirty four thousand nine hundred dollars there is an HOA of eighty three dollars per month and there's no CDD 
Now, when you're buying a house and you're financing, you have a few different loan options. So FHA is primarily for first time home buyers. The minimum down payment for that is three and a half percent of the purchase price. So if we do three and a half percent of $334,900, we get $11,721.50. Now, when you're buying a house, not only do you have to think about a down payment, you also have to think about closing costs. What are closing costs? Closing costs are an accumulation of fees such as loan origination fees, title fees, transfer fees, prorated taxes, and et cetera. It's usually about three to 4%, but I'm always super conservative and I go 4%. So 4% of the purchase price gives us $13,396. So if we add the down payment plus the closing costs, we have a cash to close of $25,117.50. Now cash to close is basically the cash you need in order to close on the property and get the keys. So the next loan is a conventional loan. Conventional loan as a first time home buyer, you may qualify for a 3% down payment. 3% of the purchase price is $10,047 plus the same closing cost gives us a cash to close of $23,443. Now the next tier from 3% is 5%. 5% of the purchase price is $16,745. You have the same closing cost and that gives us a cash to close of $30,141. Now the next tier from 5% is 10%. Now, now Alexis, why would I have to pay 10%? So the reason why you're gonna have to pay 10% if this is be, gonna be considered a second home. Now let's say you live in New York, you're gonna retire in a few years but you wanna buy Buy it, the house now is going to be considered a second home let's say um, you are eventually like maybe within the next couple of months or next year um, you're gonna come and move to Florida you want to buy it now but you don't even own a house in New York right even though you don't own a house it's still gonna be considered a second home because you are still working in New York as an example right so the bank is gonna say there's no way that this is that Florida home is gonna be used as a primary residence if the buyer still uh, works in New York okay if you work from home then that's a totally different story so 10% um, of the purchase price is $33,490 plus the same closing cost we have a cash to close of $46,886 now the next tier from 10% is 20%. Now, why would you pay 20%? You're gonna pay 20% if you're gonna use this as an investment property. Um, you, The minimum is 20%, it may be more. Um, if you wanna avoid private mortgage insurance, you wanna pay 20%. But as you can see, you don't need 20% down to purchase a house. So 20% of the purchase price is $66,980, plus the same closing cost gives us a cash to close of $80,376. Now, um, we also have VA. VA, thank you for everyone who has served our country. As you know, you get 100% financing. All you have to think about is the closing cost, which is that $13,396. Now, cash, you still have closing costs, but you don't have as much closing costs. So I estimate it to be around two to $3,000 um, of closing costs. Now, taxes, now the taxes is tricky because the owner has owned this house since 2008. So the owner's current taxes is about $2,200 per year. Now, when you buy the house, the house is gonna get reassessed. So it's definitely gonna be worth way more than what the, the um, current owner bought it in 2008. So there is a chance that your taxes can go up from $2,200. So I want to make sure that you are, um, that I'm very clear on that and that you know that it could go up from what the owner is currently paying, okay? Um, the estimated mortgage, again, I don't like to do estimated mortgages because there's just so many different variables with everyone. Everyone's credit, trans, everyone's file looks different from their credit, their income, their debt to income ratio. All of that plays into uh, the interest rate, plays into the um, mortgage payments. So as an estimate, I estimate this um, these mortgage payments to be at least in the $2,600 per month range. And if you put 20% down, your mate, you're gonna be um, less than that, okay? So this is just estimates, but I, this, this is gonna definitely give you like, okay, now I kind of know a rough estimate of what numbers I need. Again, 
I love doing this. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Look in my YouTube and my other videos. I also have a debt to income, calculating your debt to income um, ratio with one of my preferred lenders in my videos. I, again, I have videos of all over Central Florida and stay tuned to my next video.